Hello everyone, I am Roberto Lucchi and I work at Esri Professional Services and this demonstration will introduce the client application capabilities developed by Esri for the cross-community interoperability feature portrayal and semantic mediation thread. The presentation will concentrate on new concepts which include use of feature portrayal service to render feature, the creation of custom styled layer by leveraging the discovery of features and the web feature service via the catalog service, and the discovery of portrayal rules by the portrayal registry. And finally, the use of semantic mediation to convert features from one schema to another to aid portrayal capabilities. The scenario in which the client application capabilities will be demonstrated is Monterey, California, where an earthquake has occurred. The president of Atlantis was vacationing in the Monterey area and was badly injured by a tower that fell because of the earthquake and he needs to find the fastest route to the hospital. The evacuation plan is coordinated by the California National Guard in Sacramento and the analyst there verifies that the Monterey airport is being seriously damaged and decides to coordinate the operations with the Monterey airport field operator. This demonstration will focus on the activities performed by the airport operator. The airport operator will, through the map viewer, have access to the following components. The feature and service catalog provided by Combosolt, the data based on the national map USGS data schemas, in particular the web feature service exposing USGS data provided by QWorks, and the semantic mediated web feature service exposing NGA data provided by Luciat. And also the data store based on topographic data store NGA data schema, in particular, web feature service exposing NGA data provided by interactive instruments and the semantic mediated web feature service exposing USGS data provided by Lucian. And finally, the USGS web map service and styled layer description that are made available via network links by Cubeworks. The analyst will have the ability to render features by using different symbologies. In particular, the application leverages the feature portrayal service, the portrayal registry, and the semantic mediated web feature service to provide maps by using USGS user preferred or NGA user preferred symbols for all available features, regardless whether these are NGA or USGS datasets. And finally, also apply styles SLDs to web map services. Let's see now the client application in action. The analyst will use the GeoPortal server to first discover and then add to the map these features. So I will be using the Browse tab, and in particular I will start with the WMS layers that are from the USGS WMS. And in particular I will add to the map the one with the specific TNM symbols. You will be initially interested in first loading a base map based on imagery and then loading the only layer which is about showing airport complex. Now the layer is loaded and they will focus on one of the airports that have been suggested by the National Guard in Sacramento. So now the layer is being refreshed And now the user can go back to the Browse tab and add additional layers. In particular, he is interested in transportation layers and he selected the road category. So the NGA TDS road geocurve is one of the candidates for being added to the map. And as you can see, it, this particular feature is provided by the semantic mediator and follows the NGA TDS data schemas. The client generates the SLD on the fly and uh, through this link you can also see that the generated SLD refers to the semantic mediator provided by Luciad and also to the rule set ID that are being discovered by the portrayal registry. So he clicked on the add to map and he is going back again to the browse to add additional layers. In particular the NGA TDS road geocore that is directly provided by the interactive instrument web feature service. So the two layers are currently being loaded. The analyst decides to complement this information with the USGS WMS that also provides access to road segments. At this point, the airport operator decides to call the National Guard and coordinate the damage assessment. Now, let's see what happens behind the scenes. The client application interacts with different service types. It interacts with the service catalog CSW interface for 
retrieving the features that are based on a user-selected category, and also the WFS endpoints that are uh, associated to the user-selected features. It also invokes the Portera registry to determine what Portera rules can be applied against that specific user-selected feature. All this information will be used to generate the client side, the styler description that will be used to invoke the get map request against the feature portrayal service.